What's up, everybody? Noble Comics here. Talking about the big news, other than that ambulance going by. Which is, you know, if you've been paying attention to anything comic-related lately, you've seen it. It's the uh, quote-unquote gay Superman, or bisexual Superman. We'll get into that. And, you know, got some thoughts on it. Everybody does. Probably not going to blow your mind here. But uh, I got a few points about this. So, quote-unquote Superman is gay. Big important thing about that, it's not actually Superman. I know if you're just reading the headlines or, like, uh, watching CNN, you're going to think that it is. It's not. That's John Kent, Superman's son, who is, like, acting Superman at the moment. And the reason for that is, according to Ethan Van Skyver's uh, theory is he thinks that it's kind of the same thing that happened around it's like 2011 or 2013 where the Schuster family co-creator of Superman was suing for rights again to creative property so they had to kind of pull the iconic Superman copyrighted version off and replace him for just a bit until things cooled down uh, legally and it's probably something similar going on right now uh, so I'm probably not too concerned about it just overall I think that this is just like a stunt they knew that it would get attention and eventually the mantle is going to be passed back to Clark Kent and all this is going to fade away it's my prediction but at the moment we got the bisexual Superman which is very interesting they made him bisexual that's the key right there to all this going on every character is going to end up being bisexual here's the genius Even if that character, throughout the decades that it's been around, has only been interested in men, or has only been interested in women, now they can say, they can flop it, you know, switch it around. They can say, yeah, well, Wonder Woman was interested in women the whole time. She's bisexual, so she liked men too, makes sense. Superboy was interested in, in men the whole time. He just was into women up until now, but he's bisexual, so it makes sense. So it can just retroactively apply to everything. And if from this point on, say you get a new writer, and he's only interested in women again, they completely ignore this bisexual thing. Well, bisexuality still applies. He's just in the girls right now. Just kind of the genius in permanently changing the character. If they just outright said he was gay, then in the next storyline you could change that. But you can you can't really change the bisexual thing as easily. And, you know, there's been a big uproar. The main thing is like, oh, man, they're coming after our kids. They're coming after our kids. These young characters, they're making them bisexual and stuff. And it's like, one, yeah, they are coming after your kids, probably. I feel like they kind of say that, yeah, we want your kids to be exposed to this. Because they see it as a good thing. So on one hand, yeah... But I don't think that's the reason they're going after the young characters. I think I laid this out in a previous video. At the end of the day, they want a gay or all LGBT to whatever Justice League. That's what they want. And not like a fake one where it's a bunch of gay characters they put together. No, they want Superman and Batman and all these characters to be gay. A gay Justice League. But they are smart enough to know that they can't just outright say Bruce Wayne is gay, Clark Kent is gay, whatever. They did it successfully with Wonder Woman. And I'll say that's the kind of the one example of this that I don't disagree with. It was a while ago, a few years now, where they said that Wonder Woman was like into women. She was a lesbian. Probably said she was bisexual. And I don't have any problem with that because I think it makes sense she grew up on an island of women there's only women, there's no men probably going to be a high lesbian count from that environment so that doesn't bother me at all but there's one, they got Wonder Woman and like I said, they know they can't just directly come after the rest of these guys so they do the little work around and you can see it in real time and I've talked about it before. We can't make Aquaman gay, but we can make Aqualad gay. We can't make Batman gay, but we can make Robin gay. We can't make Superman gay, but we can make Superboy gay. So, you have all the sidekicks be gay. And 
people who notice this pattern are kind of like, hey, 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 what are you doing? You're turning my characters gay. And you always get the same two responses. The first response is, it's a fictional character. Why do you care? And my response would be, man, isn't it your job to make me care about these fictional characters? You're the comic book writer. Like, if anybody should talk about why you should care about comics and fictional characters, it's you. And two, they'll say, oh, look at these guys getting so upset. They can't even handle one gay character, they say, as they turn their 500th straight character gay. It's like, yeah, every single character we get upset, and they're like, what, it's just one character? You can't handle one character? No, I mean, it's like all of them now. Uh, So those are the two responses you get. But the strategy is the same can't make the main characters gay, make the sidekicks gay. And then, you retire the main characters, and the sidekicks take on the main mantle. Aqualad is the new Aquaman. Uh, Wonder Woman's already gay. Superboy's the new Superman. I'm sure Tim Drake will become the new Batman since he's already bisexual. I'm sure Kid Flash is gonna be gay, and he'll be the new Flash. Martian Manhunter, they can probably say, is already, like, pansexual, because he can shapeshift, so every single species is whatever. And Cyborg, if you if you count him as, like, a Justice League member, which they kind of retcon that, they could probably just come out and say Cyborg's gay. Whatever. So they've worked their way in, through the side characters, into the main characters, and soon enough they will succeed in having a gay Justice League. And you notice now, when all this news broke, all the pros and everybody keep referring to Superboy, John, as Superman. And they never clarify and they say, yeah, this is Superman, John Kent is is, uh, bisexual. No, they they really want to hammer home, they just want the drama that Superman is gay. You know, they can call anybody Superman and have him be gay and it's the exact same thing it's not the real Superman but that gets the clicks I guess and you know it's worked obviously got the CNN talked about it Daily Wire talked about it you know it's been all over Fox talked about it everybody's been talking about it so obviously it works but do I think it's like a big like agenda move to get at your children and all that stuff eh kinda I mean to a degree, they want that. I think to more of a degree, they just want to upset the right, and they want to upset comic book readers, and so that's why they're doing this. They obviously don't care about the comics or the the sales or anything like that, you know. But they, I think they just want to upset people, and they do a good job at it. But they'll they'll definitely supplant all these main characters with the bisexual sidekicks. Just wait. But that does create an easy out, though, because then you can just kill off all the sidekicks or whatever, and you have the normal guys back. So, I'm not too worried about it. I don't know. But I also kind of stopped reading mainstream comics, so I'm kind of not invested in it. I'm still holding out hope that it'll all go back to normal one day. I mean, even saying that, I'm kind of like, uh, because I've been sad about everything, you know, since COVID and everything like that. It'll all be back to normal eventually. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. Uh, We can dream, right? But that was kind of my thoughts. And the scoop, yeah, you know, if you hadn't heard John Kent, Superman's son, officially Superman, probably because of that lawsuit, is bisexual. It's like the most stereotypical boyfriend, whatever, partner that DC could drum up, like pink-haired guy, whatever. So... Just more nonsense coming out from DC. And it's funny how DC has kind of overtaken Marvel. I think it was like a year ago, maybe a little more, that I was praising DC on the fact that they were being less radical than Marvel. Because I said, it seems like Marvel's, it seems like DC is at least trying to stay afloat. Well, now that's like completely flipped. DC has been on this just rampage from Superman to Robin to uh, Starfire's daughter to uh, Beast Boy, Aqualad, all these stories and characters and everything that they've just been creating and 
gay this, gay that, liberal this, liberal that. So these, they've been going at it hard this year, which is a like total opposite of what they were doing last year, uh, for the most part. So, yeah, they're just trying really hard to beat Marvel at like who can go out of business first. So that's interesting. But uh, yeah, that those, those are the thoughts. That's what's going down. Uh, you know, one of these things. Let me know what you guys think about all this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.